the Bible to the cross from the cross. Every Bible story has three components. First, God's law. Second, God's compassion. Third, God's miracle. Opening your Bible opens miracles. The Bible as one story is holy enough in our lives. Day 344, Ephesians 4 to 6, Sword of the Holy Spirit, Bible. Paul exhorted the church members to practice humility, meekness, patience, and love in keeping with the calling of God who had called them from before creation. First point, Paul taught the Ephesians church to practice four things in order to build a beautiful community. Paul taught that in order to build a beautiful community within Christ, four actions needed to be taken. The first was for the church members to increase in their consensus. The second was to raise the status of Christians. The third was to become a Christian family. The fourth was to accept the spiritual armor given by God. To look into what it means in terms of increasing in consensus, Paul was telling them to become one in Christ. Paul stressed that only in this way could the church grow together. Paul then explained the reason why the church members were distinguished into groups and positions. The first reason was for those with positions to take care of the church members. The second was for the people with the position to serve. The third was for them to honor the body of Christ. Thus, those with the positions in churches were to know about the Son of God and to work collectively within the church. Second point, Paul wrote that Christians are renewed after learning about the truth that is Jesus Christ. The second thing Paul requested from the Ephesians church members was to raise the status of Jesus and to become renewed. The reason Christians were able to become renewed was because of the truth of Jesus Christ. Paul taught that in order to become renewed in Christ, they had to firstly stop lying and to speak the truth. Secondly, they were not to hold on to grudges and to not allow Satan to come in. Thirdly, they were not to steal and to work hard in order to provide the financial aid to those who need it. Fourthly, they were not to speak evil, but rather to speak of God's grace. Third point, Paul taught the Ephesians church members three things they could do to become more like God. Paul taught them that in order to raise the status of Christ, they were to follow in God's example. In order to follow in God's example, Paul taught them to firstly act with love. Secondly, they were to stop living as disobedient sons. Thirdly, they were to become children of light. Paul moreover taught them how to live wisely. Firstly, they were to treasure their time. Secondly, they were to live according to God's will. Thirdly, they were to live in the Holy Spirit. Fourthly, they were to be grateful in their lives and to obey. Fourth point, Paul taught the Ephesians church about the family life for Christians. The third thing Paul taught the church was to build a Christian family. In order to do so, there was something for the husband and wife. Paul firstly explained the role of wives in raising a Christian family. Secondly, the role of husbands in a Christian family was given. Thirdly, God gave both the husband and wife roles in order to raise a Christian family. As Christ and the church is inseparable, a married couple is also inseparable. And here Paul reported to the passage in Genesis. Thus, in order to raise a Christian family, it was important for the parents to implement their roles wisely. The roles of children and parents can be found in Ephesians. These words were also for society and the whole. There were also words for the servants and for the master. 
Paul did not differentiate or discriminate between the master and the servant, but rather proposed how they were to live as everyone is equal in God's eyes. Fifth point, Paul taught how to fight the spiritual fight through God's words. The last teaching of Paul to the Ephesians was to bear the armor of God and to become renewed. Paul taught them that during spiritual fights, they were to pray for the Holy Spirit to be with them. Paul also asked for their prayers, as he also was fighting a spiritual fight. Without the help of the Holy Spirit, it was impossible for Paul to continue his missionary. This Tong Doc app is amazing. When I first met Dr. Zhou, we were speaking together at a conference. And when I saw the Tong Bible and the way he had placed this one story together, the Bible, one story, I ordered cases of this Bible. Now to see this app, the Tong Doc app, ready for you to use in your daily Bibles reading, this is amazing because so many people tell me I don't understand the Bible. And he has placed it in an order as so that it is one story. And then day after day takes you through the Bible in a way that God's Word will touch your heart so deeply that it changes your beliefs. It helps you to rise up and be the amazing person He created you to be. Welcome to the Tong Dog app.